Okay, so now that we have our character UV mapped, we're ready to go ahead and bring in that UV mapped character. And we're going to do the texturing process inside of ZBrush here. And we're also going to then go ahead and take and convert those textures to a, uh, a GUV or a PUV map. And then we'll convert that so that it's going to work with the UV map that we created inside of Roadkill. So first thing that we need to go ahead and do here is in this lesson, we're going to go ahead and make our Z tool and set everything up. And then in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and begin the process of actually painting our character. Um, first thing that we need to do, since we've already exported those OBJ files from Maya, we just simply are going to import them into ZBrush here. So we'll just go ahead and click Tool, Import. And this is going to be on our desktop. Then I have two different versions here. One is our sculpted version, which I'll include with the, the project files. And we also have the painting version here. So we're going to take our paint body, going to import this, just drag out. And we're going to go ahead and hit T on our keyboard so that it's going to allow us to go ahead and draw. Okay. And we also need to bring in the eyes here. So we're just going to simply do the same thing from hitting tool here. We'll go over here on the left hand side. And first thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and append a sphere or whatever uh, object that you want to go ahead and do, just select it. Oops. Go ahead and import our sphere, which is our eyes here. Okay. And you can see that this is only going to bring in one, but you can definitely see that we have two eyes here. Now, the reason for this is the polyface normals are actually reversed. So we need to make sure that we have um, display double properties on here. So we just come down to our display properties. Okay, we'll just turn on double. So now you can see that we have both eyes here. Go ahead and make sure that you see that. Okay, so now what I want to go ahead and do is fill our object here with white so that we're going to be able to go ahead and paint on this. So we're going to go ahead and just up with a subdivision on our eyes to like four. And we're going to go ahead here and switch back to the body. Okay. And we just need to go ahead and subdivide this a few times. One, two, three, four, five should probably give us enough re resolution to go ahead and paint on. Since we're not going to really be sculpting on this, we're only going to be painting. Um, five is probably, or six subdivisions is probably going to be fine for us to go ahead and do. So what we need to go ahead and do now is basically fill this with white. So we're going to go ahead on here and select RGB. And that can be found... Uh, I believe in the texture, texture window, maybe not. Um, let me take a look here. And I'm just, I'm not using the, the standard, um, user interface here. And I just got to remember where I actually have that here. I believe it might be in the color palette. No, it isn't. Um, whatever, you guys should be able to go ahead and find that. So let's just go ahead here and fill it with white. So. If I go ahead and hit our space bar, we can select any color we want here. We just want to make sure that this is going to be white. We're going to go ahead and hit fill object. So now it's going to be white. And if we go ahead and switch our colors here, you can see that nothing changes on the body. So that means that our object has been filled with the white color. So I want to go ahead and also do this with the eyes. But before I do that, I want to make sure that I turn on the uh, <coughs> material channel as well because I want to get the material filled in here for the eyes okay so we'll go ahead and select our eyes here go ahead and hit the toy plastic we're going to go ahead and hit fill on this one so now if we go ahead and switch back you're going to see where we're going to have the eyes are going to be white and our body's going to be that um mock clay okay so now that we have everything pretty much set up and and ready to paint we'll go ahead and come back in the next lesson and begin the process of painting our character so Come on back.